What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. Now, learning that we'd be playing VGC on Sword and Shield for the remainder of until Gen 9 sort of took the wind out of my sails, but you know what put it right back in? You know what put that wind right back under my sails? Basque Legion. Look at this beautiful fish. It literally is just, a, it is a perfect evolution for Basculin. I had no idea where they were going to go with this generic little fish, but this thing, I'm for it. I'm for it. I was never a huge Basculin fan, but this thing made me a Basculin fan. I'm going to go and get one in game and call it my son for the rest of my life uh, until I eventually transfer it into this game and then evolve it. That's what I'm going to do. That's my game plan. But before we get into this video, which is without a doubt going to be very interesting, do me a favor, if you enjoy it at any point in time or just want to support the channel, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, or Sword and Shield VGC, whatever we call it. Uh, and answer my comment question of the day, what sort of stats do you want to see on Basque Legion? I'm hoping this thing gets like slightly higher speed. I'm thinking base like 110, like a nice little 12 point speed boost and then raise its attack stat to like 120 and then just give it a little bit more in its bulk. Obviously this thing looks bulky and that ghost typing is going to be crazy, but yeah. Speaking of ghost types, this thing has enough speed where even with an adamant nature, which means we don't have to use its mediocre attack stat 92 with the jolly nature. With the adamant nature, uh, we're able to hit 149, which is really key because with a choice scarf, that's going to put us at 223 speed, which is enough to outspeed Calyrex Shadow Rider. That means that we can flip turn on pretty much everything in the format, not name Regieleki or Rillaboom. And yeah, the rest of this team is pretty standard, but I'm hoping to use Basculegion as a tool to remove threats to Zacian. Uh, mainly, it's going to be able to deal with opposing Landorus and opposing Incinera pretty well. And yes, I did the damage calc. It's disappointing. Liquidation, if I'm not intimidated, still wouldn't KO. But if I am intimidated, it's a two shot, which is going to be the norm for this thing. I could have choice banded it since I already have some speed control, but I feel much more comfortable flip turning on everything for the rest of this video. But yeah, uh, like I said, if you enjoy, leave a like and let's get into it. We are on my alt account where I test just about every bad idea I have and we're at 1327. So that's, you know, slightly higher than the low ladder. So we'll see what we can get here. Uh, this should be an interesting video. Like the Phalanx video, I have not done a single battle with this team and I just wanted to do something cool. Hopefully we'll get as lucky as we did in that video by facing a whole bunch of Pokemon with bad speed tiers. As we face a pretty interesting Eternatus team, um, part of the meta with Eternatus is hiding your most important Pokemon uh, with the Eternatus. So as you can see, I have no idea what this figure is. I have no idea what he could be. You could unironically have like hid the ditto behind this thing, now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, let's see. I am most certainly bringing the Landorus to this matchup. It seems un believably useful uh and i can actually lead off basculin like you know i could i could go with that basculin landorus i think zacian is obviously going to show up to this match and i'm definitely going to want to bring the incinero here nothing actually outspeeds my basculin in this game except for a prankster whimsicott or a tailwinded whimsicott so we'll see what i can do as they end up leading off with the whimsicon yeah whimsicon whimsicott and p2 um one would assume P2 would go for a KO here. I think my liquidation plus earth power could KO, but I'm a little scared to lock into that. <laughs> I don't want to lose my lander so early in such an important match. Uh, so I think my play is just going to be to, uh, I could flip turn on this Whimsicott and bring in my Incineroar. And that's going to break a Sash. I don't really mind a Trick Room going up, all things considered. Uh, but I'm not 100% certain I'd be able to KO that P2. And I don't even know if it would go for it here. Uh, let's see if it goes for the Ice Beam. This goes for the Trick Room. Uh, that's perfectly fine. I can still fake out Flip Turn. And I'm not likely to lose my Basculin here. I don't think so. Unless they really decide, you know, Thunderbolting the Basculin's the play. I have just become a Basculin stan overnight. That's what that trailer did to me. I just love Basculin. Like, and listen, he's not earning his, he's not going to get his evolution for free. He's got to earn it. Like, we have to win some games. If this guy doesn't, you know, win any games today, he has not earned the, the evolution he's about to get. Uh, as, actually, that's phenomenal for me. That's phenomenal for me. Look at this flip turn damage. It's going to be like 30%, I think. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was just perfect. That was the perfect turn for Basculin. <laughs> More souls to feed to the Basque Legion. Every time we get a kill, we're just going to come back here and give him a little kiss. Okay. Um, 
There's the P2. I mean, I can Snarl for absolutely free. Let me just protect Snarl. There's not even a reason to fake out. I get so much more from Snarling here. Uh, I can prevent like a Meteor Beam thing from going off. I don't even know why you went for the Trick Room here, honestly. Like maybe it was just because you didn't feel comfortable taking on Zacian. Let's so go for the Dynamax Cannon. Uh, I should be able to go. It, yeah, there's the Forfeit. There we go, Basculin. There we go. The only KO of the game and it was a freaking flip turn onto this Ditto. <laughs> That was perfect. All right, that's exactly how I want to start the video. Honestly, like now I'm in the mood to record. Like before, I was a little tired. I wasn't sure, but now I'm in the mood. Now I am in the mood. Basculin, you really got me going. Um, okay, this is going to be really bad. How much do I do to an Entei? Like standard Entei. Liquidation's a one-shot, and I am Choice Scarf. I'm actually going to lead off Basculin here. Uh, there's very little reason to actually not... Uh, I definitely want my Incineroar. I have to be very careful, though. Um, this is a really well-made team. Like, that that thing's going to be really annoying in this game. Uh, Regieleki and Rillaboom almost seem absolutely necessary. I think what I'm going to do is lead off Basculin, Rillaboom, Aleki. And Zacian's, like, sort of at a loss here, but I think I still have to bring it. Like, it, like this is a terrible matchup for me. Uh, does I actually go Entei Palkia? This is... A free liquidation into whatever I please, honestly. Unless it's Scarf. Even then, I should be faster. Because a lot of them don't actually run max speed Scarf. Um, I could flip turn. How much is my flip turn doing? 71%. I don't think that's worth it. But I think they should respect it. Or maybe they won't call the Scarf. I'll just liquidation. Um, and that should actually allow me to fake out here. Don't be Scarf. Don't be Scarf. Don't be Scarf. Don't be Scarf. Uh, don't burn don't burn okay all right all right i'll take it it was scarf okay that was terrifying anyways there's stack attacker um check this out how much is my liquidation doing to a stack probably like 80 a lot of them don't run protect so this should be a free liquidation liquidation does 50 percent. no why would you give me this news? I think Liquidation plus Woodhammer should do it. What's the upper 60? I think it should do it. It's going to be really close, though. I don't mind losing Baskin at this point. It's done its job, really. It's like a Rillaboom. Dang. Okay. That still does a decent chunk. I'm going to be doing a lot of damage here. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Thank you for the crit. As my roommate sneezes in the background. Uh, I should always be able to go into Zacian here. And I'm likely to get faked out, but I'm going to live this hit. I want to get rid of this Palkia as soon as possible. I'll just wood hammer it. Faked out. Say Spatial Rend Me. Okay, interesting choice, honestly. Like, all things considered, I don't know why you would go for that. Um, yeah, I think my plays just can be wood hammer close combat and get rid of it. And then at that point, like, they just lose. Like, they don't have enough health to deal with Basculin. So they go stack attack. Let's see if I get this KO. Woodhammer. If I survive this hit. Oh yeah. No, that's game. That's game, I think. Because I can always just go into my son Regieleki. Protect on this first turn. And then on this next turn, I just attack. Because I think Basket. Because they only have one turn of Grassy Terrain left. And then Basket then just goes in. Like it just seriously goes in. Um, and I do have a Focus Sash. So I can appropriately prioritize things here uh maybe i actually just sack the basculin i want to win with the basculin but i know close combat on the stack attack is a lot smarter so i'll sack basculin here uh, and i'll go ahead and i'll thunderbolt this rillaboom sack the basculin that's fine grassy glide takes me down to not my sash but that's just game gg close combat thunderbolt unless they're like choppleberry they they never live this GG's. Nice. So Basculin uh, kind of going crazy today. Kind of going crazy. A little bit crazy. A little bit insane, in fact. As we face a Kyogre Tornadus team. I mean, this is just standard fare. Like, we know what to do. I'll actually lead off Regieleki Rillaboom. Or, alternatively. Alternatively. I can lead off Basculin Rillaboom and scare the heck out of them. Definitely want my Regieleki. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. They don't they won't know what hit them. 
All right, check this out. Here's what's gonna happen. They're gonna switch in those arena and go for their tailwind. They are not getting away with that. They are just straight up not getting away with that. I am going to hit him with this adaptability flip turn. And I am going to also U-turn. I could also just liquidation technically. Hmm. How much does flip turn do in the rain? This is how you know I haven't tested this team yet because I'm literally calcing every turn. Flip turn, adamant, in the rain. Where are you, rain? Flip turn doesn't KO, but liquidation would. I'm just gonna liquidation and you turn. Yep, there it is. Easiest turn of my life. Easiest turn of my life. Give me this. Bam. Bam. Oh, citrus berry. Interesting. Uh, get in the Zacian. Get in the Zacian. And here I can get in my Rillaboom and probably get rid of Zarina. Because at that, if I get rid of Zarina this early, it's huge for me. Here's the Incineroar. I think I might still KO. Grassy Glide, awesome. <sighs> not quite, not quite. Um, but I can U-turn here. They have to choose what they want to fake out. And I think the fake out's always going to be their play. So I'll honestly just Behemoth Blade again. Because they triple Axel. Uh, they're going to give me the Zarina, which is awesome. They get a little bit of a crit there, but it doesn't end up mattering too much. I should always keep my Zacian. So they parting shot me, that's fine. They're running out of turns to take advantage of this Tailwind, and it's really showing. Let me get in my Regieleki. Because as long as I keep this Rillaboom at, like, 2 health, I'm fine. Um... Sack the Basculin now. Or actually, no, Basculin's still going to be really nice. Let me... Let me think. Let me protect here. I'm just going to double protect. Or I can literally get rid of this thing now. If I Volt Switch. This is really risky. Don't double the Aleki. Don't double the Aleki. Eh, the Icy Wind, okay. Actually, it was Life Orb. I'll take it, I'll take it, it was Life Orb. Okay, okay. Um, I think my play here is literally just to go for the double. And flip turn on you, not flip turn. I mean, I have to get rid of the grassy terrain now. I could have gone into Rillaboom here, that would have been a lot safer, but it's a little scary. Uh, yeah, my play is going to be getting rid of Incineroar, so I'm going to Liquidation, and I'm also going to go for a close combat, and then that should allow me to always KO Kyogre with Grassy Glide from this range if I double the Incineroar. You know, that was a misplay. I forgot I was at, like, 2 health. Or I thought I was at, like, 2... I forgot I was at 2 attack. <laughs> Major misplay on my part. My bad. I should have always attacked the Kyogre, now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, no, now I lose. Like, it doesn't matter what I hit. GG. My bad. That was a major misplay on my part. I don't know how I managed to miss the fact that I wasn't at plus one attack. <laughs> that was very obvious. Okay. Another Torn Ogre team. Let's see if we can get some redemption. Um, should be able to lead off Rillaboom, Regieleki. I, I'm going to leave Basculin at home today. Gonna leave my Basculin at home. I think it's better to probably bring the Incineroar, especially considering they got two grass types here. And fake out's gonna be really nice as soon as Arena's gone. And honestly, like ladder ladder torn ogre players, like it's pretty easy to call the like the Zarina coming in like every time. I wouldn't even consider it like a 50-50 at, at that point. Like, it's it's more like, yeah, it's coming in. Please give me good luck. Okay, check this out. Easiest play of my life. Double into the Tornadus. Volt Switch U-turn. I guess it doesn't matter. I don't lose anything by doing this, and they never get their Tailwind up ever again. Because I don't lose either of my Pokemon. Unless they, like, crit. I, I think even, like, the crit Water Spout wouldn't KO me. So they protect. 
Awesome. Give me you. Ooh, okay, that was not very good for me. Uh, glad I U-turned, though. Glad I U-turned. Because I can get in my Incineroar. Say Hurricane, that's fine. I have Fake Out Pressure for this next turn. We can go back into Regieleki. And now I actually never go for Volt Switch. I actually Electro Web. Because I always take this. Um, and I have to hold on to Incineroar here. So I'm actually more willing to sack the Rillaboom in case Zarina doesn't come in. But the Protect play tells me Zarina's going to come in. Get an Electroweb off. Awesome. Zarina also doesn't have Faint this generation, so that's a lot safer for me. Uh, Zarina would have to pretty much double here. Or they would have to double into the Regieleki if they wanted to do much. I can just Protect Stall. Um, yeah, I'll Protect. I'm willing to sack the Rillaboom now that they like have no way of outspeeding Regieleki once this is gone. So I'm going to U-turn on the Zarina. As that ends up being a perfect play by me, I think they're going to go ahead and... Oh, they U-turn on me. That's fine, because now I have Fake Out Pressure for the next turn. Even if it isn't like real Fake Out Pressure, because Zarina can just come in. Hmm. You know what? This might be a major misplay, just like I lost the last game by doing. But I'm gonna fake out. I have called every not... I've called every, like... I haven't clicked a priority move yet. I think they're gonna play off, off, off of me doing that. Come on, baby! Dang it. Okay, good game. Actually, no. Maybe not good game, because Regieleki's still gonna do crazy damage. Oh yeah, I got the crit there. Awesome. Uh, now it's just a matter of not losing the Regieleki speed tie, so I'm going to double protect here, of course. And I think minus one Regieleki gets outsped by Zacian. This is the greatest tool ever made in the history of Pokemon. Regieleki, Picolytic set, minus one, 184, 220, yeah, okay. So it should get outsped if I go for this Electroweb play. How much does Behemoth Blade do at plus one? You want, how much does my Electroweb do? I think Electroweb plus Behemoth Blade should be enough as they double into me. Oh, okay, no, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, I should be able to go for this Electroweb. That's gonna be my best play. And that's me the, the best result if I land it. And Behemoth Blade, if it's doing 85 to 101, I think Electroweb plus Behemoth Blade will always KO. As they win the Electroweb speed time, they get a crit, which kind of sucks. The game hasn't ended yet, though. Ah, oh, it's going to end. As they... Dog. You just threw so hard. I'm sorry, what? Did you really think you won that turn? Did he think Electro would, like, just KO? I went before him. He loses now. Yeah, dude, what? I'm sorry, you just threw so hard. All right, thank you, Sub SCP September. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that one. All right. <laughs> uh, as we face a pretty cool Eveltal team, uh, there's no thing. There's nothing blocking Incineroar's fake out, so that's like always going to be a phenomenal lead for me. I think. Incineroar Regieleki isn't bad, but I, I can also technically do Incineroar Basculin. Like, they're all great, right? Um, my Lando doesn't seem too bad either. I have to be really careful for Scarf on this thing, because I think if you're gonna if you're gonna use this thing on a Torkoal team, it's gotta be like Scarf, right? Which Regieleki should outspeed, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll always lead off Regieleki. Actually, check this out. Check this out. This is going to be... I'm going to lose this game. I'm just going to put that out there right now. I'm going to lose this game, but I'm going to do something cool while I lose it. Okay. Uh, in every situation, Torkoal comes out here. In every situation, Torkoal comes out. And I don't believe I get outsped. And I think with the Scarf, I'm still faster. I don't want to do that math. I hate math. Give me this. 
I love math, actually. <laughs> Just gonna put that out there. I love math. Get my flip turn. Get in my Incineroar. That should be a free Flare Blitz into this thing. Um, and they, I have lowered their damage output a bit. I'm gonna try to wake up. I am Focus Sash, so I can still go for Electro Web. Hopefully they just try to sleep powder me, not recognizing safety goggles is like always the item you run on this thing. So they body press me. Uh, that screams earth power. Like that is a deafening scream of earth power. I think I get the most by thunderbolting. Yeah, I guess I still like drive actually. Do you think Baskin takes one? Probably not. If that reaches 145 speed, I still outspeed it with Zacian at double, right? If it's at minus one. I think. I don't feel like doing that math. Once again, math is not going to be my friend here. Uh, You got to have Earth Power, right, bud? I'm still going to do this. Wake up. Awesome. I got rid of the arguably scariest Pokemon in this matchup. Let's see if they go for the uh, eruption here. If they body press, I'm fine with that. Uh, I'm going to go into my Basculin now. And I think that's an obvious Scarf on the Entei. Which I should outspeed, so I think my play is still going to be Electroweb plus Flip Turn. Or Electroweb plus um, Liquidation. So that should allow my my god out speed here let me think oh 167 times 1.5 that doesn't outspeed me right that's 250 yeah i'm still faster yeah okay so i'm gonna electro up here and i am going to liquidation because they might go for eruption or something Land my Electroweb, now I am faster. Liquidation does like 50. They Flare Blitz me. Can I take this move, please? All right. Oh, he burned me, you're kidding. You're kidding me. Okay, luckily I still KO this Entei and my play is always gonna be to close combat here. Descend in the stack attack, ah, oh, that's so annoying. That's so annoying, man. Sacred Fire from this range would KO, and so would a Gyro Ball. Mm. They shouldn't be able to KO my Basculin. I think my best bet is just... man. Right? I mean, they're running Flare Blitz, so that's going to KO me. Don't trick room. Just like throw, don't trick room. Uh, please somehow live, my friend. He does not live, okay. <laughs> that burn really sucked in the grand scheme of things because I think we probably would have won there. All right. Yeah, that kind of sucked. Oh well, GG. I like how we ended with the same rating. Uh, we'll do one more video, or one more video, one more battle for this video. Try to get over that 30 minute mark. Oh, okay, uh, this is actually the same team that Giovanni VGC used to reach number one on the ladder a while ago. Let's see how well it stacks up against Basculin, I suppose. Um, I think my play here is going to be leading off Basculin and Cineroar. I forget if this is dark or water Urshfield. I would assume it's water. I definitely like my Rillaboom in this matchup, and I think my last Mon is going to have to be my Zacian. Now, obviously, a Snarl is very scary to this thing. But I'm not going to be able to... Or actually, whose Fake Out went first? 
Opposing Incineroar is Intimidate. Yeah. Their Fake Out would go first here if it's not a speed tie. All right. I don't want to know. I guess he's saying hurry up, and I don't really care. I'll Snarl here because I'm not going to get Faked Out. So they Meteor Beam, and they miss. Haha, <laughs> why don't you hurry up and land a hit? Why don't you just land a hit, bro? How much does I minus one crunch do to this thing? Okay, yeah, yeah. Basculin. Lunala. Uh, got 26 seconds, yeah. Adamant. You know, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. I, I still care the Lunala. I don't care. I don't care. Actually, that was pretty cool, the Throat Chop tech. Should be able to U-turn on this thing, though. And uh, I'll Flare Blitz. Yep. And I shouldn't lose my Zacian to this. Nice. Cool, and I get a burn. That's pretty baller, if I do say so myself. Um, seems fair, yeah, seems fair. I agree, 100%. I think I get in my Rillaboom here. Flare Blitz the Coco, they're probably gonna Volt Switch. That's fine. Uh, we actually know that they're faster than us, so my Snarl should go first. And they also can't really block this, so I can just Grassy Glide Snarl. Yeah. Live that hit, awesome. There's the Urshifu Water. I think I actually lose. Hmm, that's fine. Actually, now that Coco's gone, this thing becomes a lot more threatening. Just try to break a sash. Okay, okay. Uh, one would assume here their play would be to attempt to block a grassy glide and then parting shot oh wait no they can't because Koku is gone uh one would assume here they would predict my fake out on the incineroar or predict the fake out in the urshifu or a grassy glide so i'm actually gonna fake out the incineroar and get rid of it Ooh, okay. At the very least, I still get to protect here. Actually, I could technically Behemoth Blade and Grassy Glide to KO the Urshifu. And even if an Incineroar comes out here, I still have Protect next turn. Ah, uh, don't quite KO. That's fine. Good game. Even if he was kind of a sour sport about it, I'm still going to say good game to him. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it for this session. Obviously not my most successful session, but still a fun one considering we got to use the basket in here. I think that, honestly, if this thing had like 20 more attack, it really only needs like 20, 20 more attack. It's going to be pretty solid. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about basket in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.